Russia's permanent representative to the United Nations, Vasily Lembenzia, has warned Israel this. If it moves forward with reported plans to supply Ukraine with U.S.-made air defense systems, Nebenzia has underlined Israel must be ready to face the consequences if it does so. Nebenzia has warned that such a move could affect Israel and Russia relations. He was speaking as Moscow assumed the rotating presidency of the United Nations Security Council. We are discouraging uh, all uh, countries that, uh, uh, that have not yet done so to... Uh, to uh, provide arms for Ukraine. The, the uh, destiny of the weapons that will or will not be, uh, that will be eventually uh, exported to Ukraine from wherever, uh, the destiny is, uh, is clear. They will be destroyed as the other weapons that uh, the West and the US uh, are supplying Ukraine with. Uh, but I, I uh, presume that uh, that the decision that might be taken on the issue uh, may, of course, have uh, certain political consequences. The U.S., Israel and Ukraine are reportedly in discussions to deliver up to eight old Israeli Patriot systems to Kyiv. Israel announced plans to retire its more than 30 years old M901 Pak-2 batteries in April. It intends to replace them with more advanced systems. However, they have not been put out of service yet due to growing tensions with Lebanon's Hezbollah militants. However, the purported deal could see Israeli patriots first sent to the U.S. before being supplied to Ukraine. Since the beginning of the Ukraine war, Israel has only provided humanitarian aid to Kyiv. In fact, in 2023, Israel had rejected Zelensky's demand for their Iron Dome air defense systems. Meanwhile, in the latest updates from the battlefield, Moscow has claimed destroying five Ukrainian Sukhoi-27 fighter jets with Iskander-M missiles and damaging two more in Ukraine's central Poltava. Russia's defense ministry published footage of the attack, which showed smoke and flames rising from an airfield. Hitting back, Kyiv is claiming that Russia is exaggerating the damage caused. However, it has not detailed the scope of the damage. Russia is targeting Ukrainian airfields just as Kyiv prepares to receive the first U.S.-designed F-16s, which Moscow has vowed to destroy. On the diplomatic front, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban is in Kyiv for talks with Zelensky. This is his first visit since the war began in February 2022. It comes the day after Hungary took over the six-month rotating presidency of the European Union. The position brings with it little real power, but has the ability to set the tone for the bloc's agenda. Oban's press chief confirmed to journalists that the visit was an opportunity for building peace as Ukraine fights off Russia's invasion. Hungary and Ukraine shared strained relationship. Oban is known as Putin's closest EU ally. He has in the past routinely blocked, delayed or even watered down EU efforts to extend assistance to Ukraine and to sanction Moscow. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.